Today we got a 2019 Camaro SS, 10 speed car, LT2 intake, K&N. We did 93 and ethanol, and it has some headers. I think that's it for the mods, right? Yep. Okay. And of course, owner wrapped um, graphics. Looks pretty good. <laughs> and um, also recalibrated for his tire size. He has a little bit bigger Mickey Thompson on the back. Um, this car came in. We didn't really make a full pull first pass, so I won't count it, but it was in the 380 range. The 423, of course, was on 93, and then the 446 was on 65% ethanol, I believe. And of course, you can see it picked up 23 foot pounds of torque and 23 horsepower as well, so that's really stout gains. These would go for more along the line of the 12.7 uh, air fuel, uh, just as an FYI, because a lot of people ask that. Um, as opposed to an LS car, we're going to stick more in that 12.5 range. And the other thing I wanted to do is STD. I always I forgot about that, but let's throw in the STD numbers here and we'll see where that is. It's going to be 2%, but you know, we always say that because a lot of people get STD numbers from shops and want to know how it compares. 455 on ethanol, 432 on 93, and of course the torque picked up the same, 468 to 462. So he was hoping for around the 440 mark, and uh, you know we exceeded that thankfully, and has the LT2 hump, which is another thing that we see a lot. If you have an LT2 intake on your Camaro or Corvette, it's probably gonna have this hump around 4,500. We overlaid it, of course, with several other cars, and they all do the same, but uh, I did, he's gonna send me a dyno video. He did get some. Uh, the owner did, not Dusty. He was kinda just helping him today. And I will get an auto video as he backs it out here shortly. And then I'll put all that together. Uh, thank you guys. And we have probably a Corvette coming in this afternoon. I'll probably try to knock it out before I go back. Um, it's a Grand Sport with the Red Hot. So we'll see how that one does. Till next time, thanks.